A spicy beef mixture is wrapped around eggs and then cooked in a delicious Nargisi gravy. Welcome back to Cravings for Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. Today I'm going to be making a Nargisi Kofta. Now Nargisi Kofta is the Indian or Pakistani version of a Scotch egg. It's very very similar. Egg is encased in a beautiful Kofta mince and it's cooked together in a gravy. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now let's get cooking. I have 500 grams of lean ground meat here. You can use beef, lamb or mutton. Add salt to taste. I'm also going to add a half teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste, a half tablespoon of chopped green chili, a quarter cup of finely minced onion, a half teaspoon of cumin powder, a half teaspoon of turmeric, a half teaspoon of chili powder, and a half teaspoon of garam masala. I'm now going to add half a beaten egg. Add two tablespoons of chopped coriander and now I'm going to mix this together really really well. Always fry a tiny bit just to check the seasoning. I'm going to divide the beef mixture into four parts. I have four boiled eggs here. Make sure that the eggs are really dry before you wrap them. Take each portion of the meat, flatten it out. Place the egg in the middle and wrap the meat around it and seal the edges tightly. Repeat with the rest. By the way, these eggs were cooked in my instant pot. I find them super easy to peel. These are extra large eggs, but if your eggs are smaller, you may be able to wrap five or even six. Now to prepare the gravy. I have one cup of yogurt here and I'm going to add salt to taste. Add three tablespoons of ginger and garlic paste. Add a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Two teaspoons of coriander powder. One teaspoon of cumin powder. One teaspoon of red chili powder and one teaspoon of garam masala. I'm also going to add half a cup of fried onions. I fried these onions before and I've chopped them fine. Mix this well together. I have some oil heated up here and I'm going to insert the koftas in batches. As the underside browns, I like to spoon the hot oil on the top of the kofta to brown that part as well. Once brown on all sides, remove and keep aside. I'm now going to cook the rest and I'm going to leave these aside. It's now time to work on the gravy. I've added half a cup of fresh oil to my saute pan and I'm going to saute one cup of finely diced onion. I'm going to follow this with a tablespoon of sliced green chili and now I'm going to add all of the mixed yogurt. Allow this to cook for about 5 to 7 minutes. Now I'm going to add 2 cups of blanched and pureed tomatoes. Cover this because it will start to splutter and allow this to cook 
for 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to add one teaspoon of red chili powder and one tablespoon of cashew or almond paste. Add salt to taste and I'm also going to add a pinch of pepper. Now I'm going to add the koftas back into the gravy and I'm going to put the lid on. Cook this for about three minutes, turn it over and cook for another three minutes. Garnish with mint, coriander and fried onions and this is ready to serve. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for Nargisi Kofta. It's a great recipe to make when you're having a celebration. It has egg and meat and a delicious gravy and it's perfect sopped up with some roti. Make sure you subscribe to my channel guys and if you love my videos, do share them with your family and friends. And don't forget, ring the bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And if you love my videos, you'll love all the craziness that happens behind the scenes. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. Until I see you next time, do take care. Happy eating. Bye.